Alright, welcome to throwing poppy playtime off of a building part two. Yep, that's right. You heard me correctly. We are going to be throwing characters from poppy playtime off of a building in today's video. And the main reason why we are throwing these characters off of a building is because somebody has to. Now, listen, 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 listen. Whenever you think of poppy playtime, specifically poppy playtime chapter three, what is the first question that comes to your head when you think of poppy playtime? Go on, tell me. Yep, that's right. That is correct. Correct. Which of these characters would survive getting thrown off a building? See, that is the exact question that comes to your head whenever you think of Poppy Playtime. Well, today we are going to answer that question. So out of all these characters from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, we are going to see who is the strongest character by basing it off of how well they survive getting thrown off of three different buildings. So we're going to start off with a small building, then a medium building, and then a super huge building. So uh, we're going to tally it up at the end, and we are going to figure out who is the strongest character from poppy playtime chapter three we also have the player and a poppy because they were not able to make it into my part one video of throwing poppy playtime characters off a of building so these guys will kind of be supporting the earlier chapters of poppy playtime so we got to determine if the earlier characters from the earlier chapters are stronger than the new characters but um this is a pretty tough competition they got right here so going over all the contestants we have poppy the Player, Miss Delight, Boxy Boo, Nightmare Catnap, Regular Catnap, Dog Day, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy, and all eight of the Smiling Critters. So we're going to be having a main competition, but we will also have a small side competition trying to figure out which of these eight Smiling Critters is the strongest character, but they will still be competing to see who is the strongest character overall. So anyways, this is the first building that we are going to be throwing the characters off of. This is the smallest building right here so you know it's only a couple stories tall i'm sure anybody could survive this i mean you might walk away with a broken leg well actually i don't know if you would be able to walk away if your leg is broken but you get the point so yeah this is the smallest building right here and whoever ends up the most intact at the end gets a point so the first character to get thrown off a building in today's video will be the player i think the player will be the best character to throw off first because well you know he's basically a base a human so this will give us an idea of what it's like if a human falls off a building from this height so that way we can compare it to all of these other abomination toy monster creation things hey i'm not a monster poppy you pretty much are a monster no i'm just a cute little doll oh you can't fool me with those cursed eyeballs all right anyways mr player you get to go first are you ready what what do you mean no what do you mean no all you're doing is jumping off a building come on i know you want to jump off a building uh, oh guys look he's shy he's shy listen up player listen you survived a ton of stuff in the playtime co factory so i'm sure you can easily survive a fall from this high all right you ready mr player what? No, you're not. Well, too bad. You get to go. All right, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh no. Mr. Player, he bonked his head. Oh, um, 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 he... I mean, he can't sue us if he's dead, right? So we don't have anything to worry about. Um, yeah, so about him, uh, about him surviving, um... Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Does anybody have some duct tape? I, I don't worry. Guys, he's A-OK. -okay. He's A-OK. -okay. Guys, fun fact, the player is made out of plastic, okay? Um, yeah, we can we can build a new player. You know, it's like Legos. You know, you ever have a Lego minifigure and the head pops off? All you gotta do is, is pop the head back on. So don't worry, player. We will fix you on up. See, there we go. See, he's perfect. He's good as new you'll never take me alive i'm out of here okay anyways yeah the player did not survive oh no he got destroyed he lost an arm he lost half of his other arm and he also lost half of his leg well i mean now that he doesn't have his hands anymore at least he has his grab pack still so he can still use his grab pack hands well actually he can't because he needs he needs his regular hands to use his extra hands um that seems like a giant flaw in the design of the grab pack, but, um, all right, well, um, the player is, uh, he's gonna have to go back to the factory to, uh, get repaired. Uh, we're just going to move his, uh, his, uh, his pieces out of the way. Guys, don't worry. 
I, uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry, we have extra heads in the back, we will get an extra head, don't worry, he's gonna be a-okay, he's probably, for, he's probably fine, you know, he's gonna have a little death message, and then he's gonna respawn, it's gonna be a-okay. Alright, so now that we just witnessed the player die, I mean, fall off a building, and he definitely survived, let's go ahead and throw off another character, you know what, let's go ahead and throw off Catnap, the main face of Chapter 3, Mio, yes, that's right, Catnap. Catnap, you get to go next. All right, Catnap, listen up, buddy. Listen, the player, he jumped off this building and he didn't survive. But you're a giant mutant monster cat thing, so you should easily be able to survive this. Mel, are you sure? Um, I mean, honestly, I told the player he would survive and then he died, so... I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But if you die, it's not it's not my fault. It pretty much is your fault. You're the reason why we're on this building. And we are being thrown off of this building because of you. Well, d don't ask questions, Catnap. All right, listen, buddy listen i need you to jump off this building all right well hmm you know i was actually thinking about not jumping off of this building well too bad catnap you have to do what i say all right there he goes there he goes catnap <gasps> Meow! all right and catnap oh oh is he okay my toe i stubbed my toe catnap bro are you okay hold on he t he lost a little he lost a little blood um catnap you okay i mean i think he just broke a toe what'd you break bro Oh, he broke his foot! He broke his foot! Meow, that's more than a toe broken! Oh, no, Catnap broke his foot, but everything else is a-okay. Good job, Catnap! Well, I guess cats always land on their feet, so, um... Yeah, that would explain why his foot got broken then. <gasps> Meow, that hurt. Ouch. Well, hey, at least you're still alive, so be grateful, all right, Catnap? You could be looking like that guy over there. All right, so Catnap did a fantastic job. So he only lost a foot, so Catnap is super strong. But is Nightmare Catnap stronger than regular Catnap? That is what we need to know. So Catnap and Nightmare Catnap are pretty much the exact same character, but uh, is Nightmare Catnap stronger than regular Catnap? That is what we are going to find out today. All right, Nightmare Catnap, you're coming with me, buddy. It's time to get tossed off of a building. So, listen, I know you're another cat, and you can learn from your original counterpart not to land on your feet. Listen, I know cats always land on their feet, but if you land on your feet, they're going to break. So, you got to be careful with your feet. And also, yeah, especially with your feet. Your feet are nothing but bones, bro. You don't got any meat on them. Yeah, your limbs are really exposed, so uh, you want to be very careful. Man, I feel like I could just poke this dude and... And his arm would break. That's how fragile he looks. Um, you know, I was thinking he would be stronger than Catnap since he's Nightmare Catnap, but honestly, looking at him, I think he's gonna be a bit weaker. I don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, goodbye, Nightmare Catnap. Goodbye, Nightmare Catnap. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, what happened? Did he break his tail? Wait, let's see. Oh, it looks like he fully survived. Good job, Nightmare Catnap. So, Nightmare Catnap is stronger than regular Catnap. Well, at least for this small building. Things might turn around later on. So, good job, Catnap. Or Nightmare Catnap. Nothing broke with you. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and let's see who is next. We're going to go ahead and throw... Okay, if I don't fall off the building. We are going to throw Dog Day off the building next. Now, with Dog Day, he's already missing his legs. And how the point system works for the throwing off a building series, I base it off of how many limbs somebody loses. And Dog Day, he's already missing his legs. So, what we're going to do for Dog Day is each arm is going to count as two limbs. So, that way it evens it out for his two missing legs. So, if Dog Day loses an arm, that will count as him losing two limbs since he doesn't have his legs already. So, I think that's pretty fair for Mr. Dog Day. Alright, Dog Day, listen... You can't, you can't, re, you can't repeat Catnap's mistakes because uh, you don't have feet, bro. You just have your paws. So just, just, um, I, I honestly don't know how you should land. You should probably land on your belt. I think that's the best way for you to land is land on your belt. All right, dog day. You got this, buddy. Listen, it's daytime right now. You got this. Oh, I should not stay into the sun, but it's daytime. It's your time to shine because you are dog day and you are a smiling critter and you bring smile. He survived! He took my advice! He landed on his belt! Dog Day has survived the first building. Good job, Dog Day. See, he, this is why he's the leader of the Smiling Critters and not Catnap. Well, I will make him suffer. Alright, so anyways, let's go ahead and head on up here. Um, should we go ahead and throw off another Jumbo character, or should we move on to one of the little Smiling Critters? Um, you know what? We'll save the Smiling Critters for the end of round one. Let's go ahead 
and let's throw Hallucination Huggy Wuggy off the building next. All right, come on, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. Come on, man. This guy is super tall. Dang, bro. Dang. He's like my height, but times three, bro. I'll need like two other X-Men to stand on my shoulders to be able to match his height. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> POV 5'9 compared it to six foot in a girl's eyes. Oh no. Okay. Anyways, come on. Come on. Come on, Huggy Wuggy. Come on, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. All right, time to go. Time to go. There he goes. Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. All right, and he's A-OK. -okay. Good job, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. Oh, no. He broke his foot. No. I thought he was OK. He broke his foot like catnap. No. How did you break your foot? Your foot is the only thing that is not on the ground. How does that make any sense whatsoever? How did you break your foot? Oh, no. So, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy tied with regular catnap oh no hallucination huggy wuggy how did you break your foot my god it's because you're too tall that's why it's because he's way way too tall that led him to break in one of his feet oh my gosh all right we are now going to throw boxy boo off of the building next so boxy boo isn't in chapter three well actually i'm pretty sure he does make an appearance in a vhs tape in chapter three but other than that he's not really a chapter three character the first time we actually saw boxy boo was from project plague time but hey the more friends the merrier so uh, come on boxy boo don't be shy buddy so i feel like out of all the characters boxy boo probably has the best chance of surviving all these buildings because well he's boxy boo he is known for jumping around and he's equipped with springs for all of his limbs so whenever boxy boo hits the ground he's just going to use his springs to spring on up and he will be a okay so go on boxy boo show everyone that you can easily survive this small little building all right there goes boxy boo look at him go Look at him go. See, he's going to survive. Oh, Boxy Boo! Why'd your, your, your spring snapped? One of his springs snapped in his legs. Oh, no. Oh, my. No, look at the spring. The spring is broken. Boxy Boo. What happened, bro? His foot came off. Oh, no. Okay, so Boxy Boo lost a leg. Oh, that's not good. That's not good for Boxy Boo. Oh, poor Boxy Boo. We need to get him a new spring, bro. Uh, yeah, you know, listen, it, it was just an old spring, you know? He just needed that replaced, so that that's why he did bad. Uh, but I'm sure Boxy Boo will do great on the other buildings. It's okay, Boxy Boo. I, I think he's very upset right now. Ugh, I'm gonna go cry. My leg broke. No, don't cry, Boxy Boo. Don't cry. I'm gonna go back into my box. No, Boxy Boo. No. Oh, he's hiding in his box. I feel bad for Boxy Boo. Honestly, I thought he would have that. I did not expect one of his legs to break. Um, I guess those are some very sensitive springs then. All right, next up, we are going to throw Miss Delight off a building. So, guys, have you ever had a teacher who just treated you unfairly? Like, listen, I know there's some teachers out there who can be a little harsh from time to time but it's all in a greater scheme you know they just want to toughen you up they just want to make sure you come out as the best student ever but there are some teachers out there who just take out everything on you like if they have an emotional problem or something it's not fair for them to take it out on the students so let's just say this is a little revenge because i'm sure miss delight was probably one of those teachers if she was going through a divorce or something she would probably take it out on her class and that is not a very good role model for a teacher so it's only fair that as a student i get to get my revenge so miss delight listen i know you're equipped with uh, whatever this yeah see listen listen if this is if this is not a sign that miss delight is a bad teacher I, I don't know what is so miss delight i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry you definitely deserve to be thrown off a building all right goodbye miss delight i hope your day is not delightful Oh, you hit my camera! You hit my camera! What is wrong? My camera, bro! Do you know how much that cost me? It cost me absolutely nothing, but still. Oh my gosh, Mr. Delight. You still find a way to get on my nerves. So she broke an arm. So she also lost one limb, just like Boxy Boo. Oh no. Well, hey, now you can't give me bad grades with that missing arm now. So, ha, take that. Um, I kind of wish you would have lost the other arm since you uh, have that spike ball attached uh i take back anything bad i ever said about you you are the best teacher ever i i i promise i i i promise i'm yes 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 please please don't kill me please please don't kill me guys i feel like i'm gonna get beat later today anyway so miss delight did a-okay well actually no not really that good in comparison to everyone else but at least she's alive unlike the player bro the player got absolutely clapped 
but let's go ahead and see how well Poppy does on this build in. Poppy, I'm going to be completely honest. I think you are going to instantly die. Listen, I I honestly don't think you are going to survive the super tall building over there or the medium building. Um, but I would honestly be surprised if you survive the small building. And the reason why I say that is because, well, you are very fragile. All right, you are a doll. So if you like fall from just like a few feet or maybe even a few inches, you are going to get cracks on your head. And honestly, I don't know how you've been able to take good care of yourself for so long, probably because you were in that protective glass case. So uh, it was probably a bad idea for you to come out of the glass case. But um, yeah, we're going to test your strength and um, yeah, I don't think you're going to do good. But uh, anyways, there goes Poppy. Good luck, Poppy. Good luck. Go oh, Poppy! Oh, no! 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 She hit the edge of the building and slid off. Poppy? Are you okay, Poppy? Poppy playtime? Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't see. Okay, hold on. So, she lost half of a leg and she lost half of an arm. How's your other arm looking? Is your other arm a-okay? Okay, yep. So, she lost half of a leg and half of an arm. Honestly, that's better than I thought you were going to do. Honestly, I thought you were going to do worse than the player. And that's, um... That's saying a lot, but a uh, good job, Poppy. Honestly, I'm actually very impressed. So out of all the characters, I definitely don't think Poppy is going to come on top, but I would be surprised if she doesn't come in last place. You know, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Poppy right here, she is the underdog, and I think she has what it takes to win this competition. All right, we are now moving on to the eight smiling critters. So obviously, the smiling critters are competing in the same competition to see if they are stronger than the other characters over there, but they do have their own little mini competition at the same time, and we are going to be comparing which smiling critter is the strongest smiling critter. So let's go ahead and throw off these characters so uh, let's go ahead and start off with bobby bear hug listen bobby bear hug i know he will be the best smiling critter because you know bobby bear hug he is a man and bobby and bobby bear hug is a very very strong man wait what wait what what bobby bobby bear hug is a girl who what type of girl has a name bobby who names a girl bobby what bobby what do you mean bobby bear hug is a girl what i've been lied to i uh, okay, I'm sorry for misgendering you. Please don't cancel me. I I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me. Um, Bobby Bear Hug. Well, you know what? Uh, I believe you will float down nice and gently, and that is why I believe she will survive this building. A okay. All right, you got this, Bobby. You got this, girl. You can do it. You can do it, Bobby. All right, look at her go. Look at her go. Oh no, Bobby! Bobby! No, 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 Bobby. No, no. Oh, that is not good. Good. Not good. That's worse than Poppy. Half of an arm, half of a leg, and a full leg gone. Oh no, Bobby. Bobby, no. I'm so sorry, Bobby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for Bobby. Okay. Bobby did not do that good. But uh, let's see if these other smiling critters are able to do better or if they are able to do worse. All right, the next smiling critter we are going to have next is going to be Hoppy Hopscotch. Now, listen, Hoppy is a bunny, so he can bounce up and down. So, Hoppy, I just want you to hop off of this building, and I'm sure Hoppy, I'm sure he will be a oak. What? What? What now? What? What do you? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hoppy's also a girl. What? How do? What? Are they all girls? How am I supposed to know this? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't sue me. I'm sorry, Hoppy. I'm sorry. What are you? I'm so sorry. Okay. She, she will hop down the building. A-okay. All right, guys. All right. She, Hoppy, you will be A-okay. You got this. I believe in you. Go, queen. You can do it. Hoppy to hop all the way down. That, oh, oh no. <laughs> no, that was not what you were supposed to do. You did the exact opposite. You didn't hop. You just went splat. Hoppy, Hoppy. Are you okay? Are you okay, Hoppy? Are you okay? Oh, Hoppy, no. Your legs are gone. You're never going to be able to hop again. That is worse than Bobby Bear Hug. So, Hoppy lost three limbs. Oh, no. Well, where Bobby Bear Hug technically only lost, like, two limbs if you add those two halves. Oh, no, Hoppy Hopscotch. Why? Oh, no. All right, anyways, listen, listen. We need a man. We need to throw off a man off of this building. All right, uh, let's see. Craft corn no she is a girl i know she is a girl uh we need a real man to jump off of this building all right picky piggy listen i listen picky 
listen, I know he might be picky, but I know he can easily survive the fall off this building. So, Picky Pig, I need you to be the man, all right? I need you to be the man of the smiling critters, and I need to show that you are the superior smiling critter because you are a man, and that means you are super strong. What now? No, don't, no, don't help. No, 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 don't say, don't. You gotta be kidding me. You, you're a girl. Why are they all female? Are they all female? I'm how am I, 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 bro, 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 bro. You can't make this up. You, I don't have anything wrong with them being a girl, but I'm just like, how, what, how did I not know this? That's three now. That's three now. I got the gender wrong. I'm getting sued. I'm getting canceled, bro. I'm getting canceled, bro. Everyone's gonna be mad at me. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Um, okay, picky piggy. Listen, listen. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you are you are not strong, okay? Women can be strong too. So you got this, Picky Piggy. You are going to be the strongest female smiling critter, all right? All right, go on, Picky Pig. You got this. You got this. All right, there she goes. There she goes. All right, do better than the other two. Uh, oh, you did better. You did. Yo, way to go. See, I told you. I, I told you. So right now, Picky Piggy is the, is the strongest female smiling critter. Only lost half of an arm. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and put Picky Pig over here. So right now, she is currently in the lead for the smiling critters mini competition. Uh, you know what? We can go ahead and throw Crafty Corn off next. All right, Crafty Corn. Listen, you got to get very crafty with this one, right? Right? Right, so uh, you you gotta do something and listen. You're a unicorn and unicorns can fly. No, they they can't. What do you mean they can't? I, I, well, I mean, okay, fine. Unicorns are not real. Oh, I'm not real. No, that's not what I meant. I meant. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I can explain this so much better. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Since unicorns are not real, since unicorns are in fiction, that means uh, taking damage and gravity. That's that's also fake too. So you don't have to take any damage whatsoever because you are fake. You're not very nice. I'm trying to be po I'm actually trying to be positive, but I mean, I'm explaining this so poorly. I'm so sorry. Listen, the point is unicorns don't exist in real life. So that means that they are fiction. So that means they can do anything they want that breaks logic. So you can use that to your advantage to not take any damage whatsoever because you are a cartoon character and cartoon characters do not get hurt ever. All right. That is definitely hundred percent true. All right. You got this crafty corn. You can do it. You can do it. See, she's going to be a okay. Oh, crafty corn, crafty corn, just told me you spilled the black ink, um, uh, yeah, crafty corn lost a leg, so crafty corn and picky piggy are tied because they've only lost one limb, so, okay, really good, really good, we are seeing some improvements with the smiling critters, so now we have four smiling critters left, let's go ahead and throw a Bubba Bubba Fan off next, all right, Bubba, you got this, buddy, you got this, see, you see that little light bulb, that means you have an idea, and that idea is to jump off of this building, that's the best idea you've ever had. I, I meant that in a good. I, I, I swear I meant that in a good. I, I meant that in a good way. I meant you're gonna jump off this building and you're gonna survive and you're gonna prove that you're the better smiling critter. Nothing else dark. Th okay, this series is messed up. But go on, go on, go on, Bubba Bubba Fan. You can do it. Use your be Dumbo. Flap your ears. Flap your ears. He did not flap his ears. He is not Dumbo. Oh no. Come on. Oh Bubba Bubba Fan. Bubba Bubba Fit. Oh, uh, Bubba Bubba Fit also lost a leg, but Bubba Bubba Fit did do slightly worse than Picky Pig and Crafty Corn because he also lost a hand. Oh, Bubba Bubba Fit. Why, Bubba Bubba Fit? Why? So he is currently in like second place. All right, next up we have is Kicking Chicken. So, Kicking Chicken, listen, buddy, listen, you are a chicken. That means you are a bird, and all birds can fly. So, listen. I need you to take some inspiration from some other birds. Listen, I want you to think about penguins. I want you to think about ostriches. Listen, all these birds can fly, and so can you. All right, kicking chicken. Go on, kicking chicken. Flap your wings. Flap your wings and fly. Take flight. No. Oh, no. It's Buzz Lightyear all over again. Oh, no. No. 
Kick it shit. No, he broke a wing. He broke a wing, bro. Bro. Oh, no, man. Bro, bro, bro. He's going to change his name to Mrs. Nesbitt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kick a chicken. No. Oh, I guess you could say he really kicked that one. Well, actually, you know, he did pretty good because he also tied for first place. So we have three characters who are tied for first place. So if one of these last two smiling critters can keep some part of one of their limbs intact um, while having the other three limbs fully survive, then they will be moved up to first place. So all that's left is the smiling critter versions of Catnap and Dog Day. So let's go ahead and get Dog Day to jump off the building first. All right, Dog Day, listen, I don't have to give you a special greeting or announcement because, well, we already saw the grown up version of you earlier. And listen, he might have fully survived this building technically, but he was missing his legs. So I don't want to see you lose a single leg. All right, come on, break the curse, break the curse, break the curse. He lost more than a leg. Ah, oh, Dog Day, why? Why? You laid it on Boxy, Boo, Boxy Boo's foot, bro. Yo, some feet picks. Okay, anyways, come on. Oh, Dog Day. Dog Day, no. So he lost a leg and also a hand. Dog Day, I'm sorry, buddy. You you did not do good. You did pretty much the exact same as Bubba Bubba Fent. Oh, Dog Day, no. So all that's left is the Smiling Critter version of Cat. Now, bro, bro, this guy's gonna cheat. He's a cat. He's gonna land on his feet. He's gonna walk away with one broken foot or a broken hand, and then he's gonna get first place. I swear this competition is rigged. I can already call it. Cat, now, listen, we, are no we all know that you're the main character. You have that main character plot armor, so you are going to survive this, and you're going to get first place. All right, go on, Cat, now, go ahead. Get first place. Go on, but... Oh! Oh shoot! Oh catnap! No! That, oh no, catnap! Cat buddy, buddy, but oh he did awful. He did bad. Oh no! Oh that is not good. That is not good. Oh no, catnap did not survive. Oh no! And just like that, that is the end of the first round, and that is it for the first build in. <gasps> Wait a sec, guys, guys, I just spotted something. Guys, there is actually a winner of the Smiling Critters, believe it or not. So these three were pretty much tied, but I just now noticed that Picky Pig actually had half of her arm survive. Half of her arm survived. So that means that she wins the Smiling Critters for the first building. Oh, sh I didn't even realize that. It blended in so well. So Picky Pig is actually in first place because the other two, yeah, they straight up lost one entire limb but picky pig still has half of her arm i can't believe i didn't notice that till now okay congratulations picky pig so picky pig gets a point for the smiling critter so picky pig is currently the strongest smiling critter and then out of the main characters it looks like nightmare catnap and dog day both fully survived the first building so both of them get one point good job you two all right we are now moving on to the second building the medium size building so we're going to be throwing these characters from this building at this height so they will be jumping from here all the way down there to the road so i would say this building is about twice as big as the small building probably a little bit more than twice as big so here we go all right so which character are we going to throw off first also i haven't spawned in the smiling critters i'm going to spawn them in afterwards and that is to hopefully prevent my frames from dying on the inside near the end of these rounds so anyways uh let's go ahead and have boxy boo go up first so boxy boo listen bro listen we got you a new spring i hope you gotta make sure that you actually spring this time instead of just crashing bro you what you what boxy boo did he mainly landed on his leg he sprung down but he forgot to spring back up so he just crashed into the floor and that's what caused that spring to snap all right boxy boo so listen you might not have done too good on the first building but you now have a chance to redeem yourself by learning from your mistakes so this time i do not want to see one of your springs snap because they are actually pretty expensive who knew that giant springs were this expensive all right anyways boxy boo are you ready to jump off the building and this time this time you are going to be able to spring off the ground all right you got this boxy boo you ready you ready listen i know it's a little bit of a long ways down but you got it i believe in you boxy boo i believe in you look at him go look at him go look at that form it's perfect it's majestic you got it boxy boo you got it 
Oh, he did it! Boxy Boo has done it! Yo, he learned from his mistakes. He actually fully survived the second build. And this time, he actually landed on his knees instead of just landing right on his foot. And landing on his foot last time actually caused the spring to, like, go in itself. And that's what made it break. But this time, he actually landed on his knees. So, wow, Boxy Boo. Wow. See, I told you. That was a perfect form right there. Good job, Boxy Boo. You have fully survived the second build. And I am super proud of you. All right. Next up, we are going to have Dog day go so dog day you were able to fully survive the first building but let's see if you are going to be able to survive the second building so dog day listen you did a good strat last time landed on your stomach listen guys he already lost his leg so it doesn't matter if he gets injured even more down there you know it doesn't matter if he injures an organ here or there i'm sure he doesn't need them so dog day if you do the same strat from the first building i'm sure you will be a okay but that depends on how well he does it all right dog day you got it. You ready? Three, two, one. There goes Dog Day. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he's doing the same strike. He's doing the same strike. He's doing the same strike. Oh! Dog Day? Dog Day? Bro got clapped, bro. The strat did not work. No, dog day. No, because you're falling from a higher height. So that means, oh, velocity is going to increase. No, dog day. Dog day did the same strat that he did for the first building and it didn't work. He got absolutely clapped. So dog day did not survive the second building, bro. He got absolutely destroyed. That is the first character who's gotten absolutely clapped. That's kind of nerve-wracking, considering Dog Day fully survived the first building, but he got absolutely clapped on the second building. I'm kind of scared for all these other characters. Hopefully, they will be... Hopefully they will be okay. Um, all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and have Hallucination Huggy Wuggy go next. All right, go on Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. Listen, use your height to your advantage. All right, buddy, you got this. You got this. All right, there we go. All right, go on Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. You got this, buddy. You got this, buddy. Just don't, just don't break your foot again. All right, there he goes. Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. Oh, he's falling so majestic. Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. No! Oh, he's okay! He's okay! He survived! That is such a goofy way to fall, but hey, it worked! So, uh, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy went with the strategy of landing on his back. So, his back is probably broken, but he is pretty much A-OK! -okay. Good job! Good job! So, this time, he didn't break a foot. So, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy has fully survived the second building. Why did Dog Day get absolutely clapped? I have no idea, but Hallucination Huggy Wuggy was able to survive. So, him and Boxy Boo are pretty good. So, right now a character either fully survives or they get absolutely clapped all right well uh who is next um who should we have go next all right nightmare catnap it's time for you to go listen bro listen just like dog day you were able to fully survive the first building but dog day got absolutely clapped on this building so uh i hope you are okay bro i hope you have a new strategy because dog day's strategy did not work so you got this nightmare catnap you got this just survive i believe it land on your feet you're a cat you might come away you might break a foot but at least you'll be alive what what are you doing he's doing the back strat he's doing the oh no that was not good bro something definitely broke something definitely broke he broke something he definitely broke something cat nightmare oh no yep yep he broke an arm he broke an arm i mean hey at least he's he actually survived um so yeah okay yeah that's the only thing he broke is half of an arm so Good job, Nightmare Catnap. Obviously, it's not good enough for you to be able to get another point since the other two fully survived, but you were able to survive the second build in regardless, so you're just walking away with a broken bone, which honestly, that's why I kind of expected for Nightmare Catnap, again, because he's like, he's mainly just bones. Like, he doesn't have any muscle or anything to, like, protect his bones, so his bones can easily just, you know, snap off. Up, oh, Bro! 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 I should disqualify you for that, bro! Bro! You cannot be jealous bro listen i know hallucination huggy buggy did better than you but this that, that that does not give you an excuse to break his arm as well listen i know you have a broken arm but that doesn't mean everyone else around you also has to have a broken arm oh my gosh bro bro if you do something like that again i'm gonna have to take away your one and only point bro yo 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 okay dang we have some aggression going on on the field for this competition dang i was i was not expecting him to be a sore loser all right anyways all right catnap you get to go again Again, listen, Nightmare Catnap, he's being a bit of a sore loser. So you got to show that you are the superior Catnap. Even if you do end up taking more damage than him, just be a good sport about it and you will be represented as a better cat. All right, Catnap, you got this, buddy. You got this, buddy. So uh, your, 
your uh, your fellow brethren. He he broke he broke his arm. So uh, you know you might want to you know come up with a good strategy. You know maybe land for the tail. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if their tail gets injured or not, since all the other characters here don't have tails. So if you want, you can land on your tail and you can break your tail and you can still walk away without taking any damage on a technicality because you know no one else has a tail, so it doesn't really matter if you break your tail or not. All right, catnap, you got this, buddy. You got this. <gasps> Mio. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. All right, here he goes. Look at him go. Catnap. Catnap. There you go. Oh, no. He landed on his knees, bro. He was trying to do the boxy boost strat. Oh, his, oh, his legs. His legs. Oh, catnap. No. Yep, he did it. Oh, no. I, he might have been trying to land on his tail, but I think his legs reached the ground before his tail. Oh, no. Catnap, bro. Yeah, I was right. My, my prediction was correct. He did do worse than Nightmare Catnap. Um, just don't beat up anybody else over there, all right? Oh, Catnap, no. He broke his legs. He broke his legs, bro. Listen, if you broke the rest of your legs, too, then you could be like Dog Day, which, honestly, I don't really know if that's something you want to end up being like. So, Catnap did not do that good either, but hey, at least he's not a sore loser like his brother. Bro! Did you just attack him? Bro, you broke his feet! What is wrong with you cats? You can't. Cats are evil. Cats are evil, bro. Sore losers. I thought you, you, were, you were better than this. Bro, <laughs> hallucination huggy wuggy. Bro, he did not deserve this. Oh, uh, wait, you all, oh, bro! I look away for one second and you also break Boxy Boo's hands? Bro, wh what happened to Boxy Boo's face? What did you do to Boxy Boo? Boxy Boo, are you okay? Oh, um, uh, okay. I, bro, I, I'm about to ban cats from this competition. Don't worry, guys. I still have it on record that hallucination huggy wuggy and Boxy Boo fully survived this building. Don't worry. Don't worry. They aren't, they aren't losing any points for getting injured by the cats, bro. The cats are just sore losers, okay? Cats are just straight up evil. All right, next up, we are going to have Poppy go next. What, me? Yep, that's right, Poppy. Time to get absolutely clapped. So, uh, Poppy, I'm going to throw you off next, and uh, I want to be able to get a good view of you shattering into a million pieces, so I'm going to pull out my good old friend, Mr. Portal Gun. So, I'm going to set up a portal right here, so that way I can get a nice view of watching you splat on the pavement. All right, Poppy, you ready? You ready, Poppy? You ready to be shattered? No, I don't want to be shattered. Shattered. Well, too bad. All right, here we go. Here goes Poppy. All right, let's see. You know what? You might actually be able to surprise me. You should do what Princess Peach does. Just use your dress as a way to float down. You know, just use your dress as a parachute. You know, problem solved. I don't even know how to do that. Well, you better figure it out. All right, there she goes. All right, there goes Poppy. There goes Poppy. All right, let's go. Where? Oh, oh no! Poppy! Poppy! I don't think she's okay. Poppy? You, you good? Oh, no, no, she's dead. Oh, what is... Bro, that's her jaw. Her jaw survived, but her head is gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, guys, this is why you don't want to get a Poppy doll, because they are super fragile. Oh, no. So, she lost an arm, she lost the leg, and she lost her head. Yeah, Poppy is, um... Poppy is dead. Poppy is straight up dead. Oh, no. All right, well, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? You know what? We should go and have the player go next. Player, you got absolutely clapped on the first building, but hey, you might be able to spin things around. That's what that's what Boxy Boo was able to do. He was able to spin things around. Same with Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. So you might be able to do the same thing. So Poppy is dead, but that means you will survive, even though you probably won't. I said you would survive on the first building and you didn't. Um, so you know what? I'm going to do some reverse psychology. You are not going to survive, player. You are going to die. You're going to break your neck. Your head is going to go flying off and you are going to die. You're going to splatter and fall into a million different little pieces so you are going to die you are going to suffer and i'm going to be at the bottom to watch you suffer all right here he comes here comes the player the player oh oh reverse psychology works bro he survived he survived i mean he broke his i think yeah he broke his legs but hey his head is still intact so that means he is still alive so he just lost his legs um congratulations player i mean now you are a, a dog day wannabe, but hey, I mean, at least you're alive at the end of the day. So uh, congratulations, player. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right. So now that means there is only one character left for us to throw off the building out of the main characters besides the small little smiling critters. And that is Miss Delight. All right. Let's see if she will lose more than just one arm at this time. Please, please, please take a bunch of damage. You deserve to suffer. I mean, like, look at that face. Look at that face. 
face, bro. That is just that is just straight up creepy. Okay, listen, I'm doing you a favor. I'm helping you by putting you out of your misery. All right, go on, Mr. Light. Go on, Mr. Light. Hopefully she falls on that little spike ball she has. All right, there she is. There she is. There she is. Oh! What? What do you mean? No. No, she said, what do you mean she survived? Bro, bro, is this building a simp or something? What, how'd you survive? Bro, pavement, why are you acting up like that? She fell, and I'm pretty sure she also fell on her little spike device, and she is perfectly fine. How? Miss Delight has fully survived the second building. Oh my gosh, we had three characters fully survive this building right here. Oh my gosh, so Miss Delight has fully survived the second building. I I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, well, anyways, let's go ahead and move on into the smiling critter section of the second building. So that way we can see who is the strongest smiling critter. All right, guys, so we have all of the smiling critters lined up. So unlike the first building, this time around, we are going to throw all the smiling critters off the building at the exact same time instead of them going one by one. So I've set up all the smiling critters right above the street and we are going to drop them all at the same time so may the best smiling critter win okay here we go i'm super excited for this all right i'm gonna go ahead get down to the bottom so that way we can see these smiling critters fall all right you guys ready you guys ready all right let the smiling critters fall in three two one go all right there they go there they go there they go here they go there they go oh no that was brutal i'm so sorry smiling critters i'm so sorry sorry oh no we got to see the damage oh no bubba bubba fit bubba bubba fit it's just a bubba bubba fit sack oh bubba bubba fit lost all of his limbs oh no i mean at least he kept his head hoppy hopscotch how's it going Ooh, hoppy hopscotch did do better than bubba bubba fit hoppy hopscotch only lost an arm a leg and then half of another arm so hoppy hopscotch is currently in first place uh let's see who is next ah uh, was, who was that? I don't know who that one was. I just, I accidentally just somehow went flying in the sky. Why do I keep going in the sky, bro? Whose organs? Uh, Hoppy Hopscotch, is this your organ, bro? I keep bouncing off of it. Um, so Picky Pig is dead. So Picky Pig did not survive the second building. Um, okay, who is... Who is next, bro? I think Catnap got obliterated. This is all that's left of the Catnap is a torso. Catnap is also dead. Um, what happened to Crafty Corn? Crafty Corn? Uh, Crafty Corn got obliterated. Crafty Corn is no longer with us. Um, let's see here. Kicking Chicken. Kicking Chicken lost both of his legs and also half an arm. So I'm pretty sure. Does that mean he's tied? Kicking Chicken and Hoppy Hopscotch are currently tied for first place. Uh, let's see. We have Bobby Bear Hug who lost an arm and and a leg so bobby bear hug is actually in first place now because hoppy hopscotch and kick and chicken have lost half of a limb but bobby bear hug has one of her limbs fully intact while the leg is also still intact so bobby bear hug is currently in the lead but let's check on our boy dog day dog day dog what in the world dog day popping off dog day only lost a foot dog day is the winner of the smiling critters for round two so these are the smiling critters who did survive unfortunately catnap picky pig and crafty corn all died um but dog day only broke a foot congratulations dog day you get a point for this round of the smiling critters and just like that we are done with the medium sized building so now it is time for us to move on to the largest building on this map the huge building oh this thing is super tall this is like the medium building times two plus a small building that equals the height of this super tall building oh okay all right let's Let's go ahead and set up these characters all right welcome to the third and final building of today's video so we have gone ahead and gotten all the main characters up on top of here but this building is huge look at how tall this building is this is insane this is insane this is insanely tall so over there is the medium building the building we were just on and then all the way down there is the first building we went on yeah when we were on that first building it was a bit of a drop but uh look at it from here that's a really really tiny building so uh yeah this is this is gonna be a long long ways down this is insane so i do have a portal set up so that way i can easily get to the bottom but yo this building is just 
It is massive. This is just insane. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's throw off some characters. And we also have this nice, beautiful ramp set up. So the characters will jump off this ramp, go down the building, and then land on the street down below. That is that is a long, long ways down. All right. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? N nobody? Well, well, somebody has to go first. All right, you know what? I can't decide which character should go first. So I'm going to get some help from Siri. So we have eight characters right here. So I'm going to give all these characters a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we are going to see which character gets to get thrown off the building first. So, hey, Siri, pick a random number between one to eight. It's seven. Seven. The answer is seven. So that means player, you get to go first. I guess it's poetry because player got to go first on the first building. So now you get to go first on the last building. All right, player. No pressure, buddy. No pressure. Listen, listen, player. Listen, I know you're a little nervous. I know. I know you didn't survive that teeny tiny building all the way over there. Just think, just think you fell off that building right down there and you died. But all you got to do is just, uh, just fall from this height and, uh, I'm sure you will survive. I'm sure it's probably fine. Yeah, you'll be a-okay. I'm sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. He, he's going to die, isn't he? All right, player. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, Mr. Player. There he goes. There he goes. He's going. He's going. He's going. Oh, you can see him going. He, you can see him going. Okay, where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, wait. <gasps> he's alive. He's alive. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, he actually survived the second building. Good job, player. Good job, buddy. So he is missing half of his leg and half of his arm, but he actually did really good. He did so much better than I thought he was going to do. Good job, player. Good job. And if you survive this building, you get to go and chill in this nice hotel. Um, yeah, I'm sure um, hopefully they got some ointment or something they can put on, put on your legs, but I'm sure you'll be fine. So there you go. There goes player. The first character to get thrown off this building. He did way better than I thought he was going to do. Okay. All right. Anyways, which character should go next? All right. We're going to do the same thing. So Poppy, you are now number seven. All right. Hey Siri, pick a random number between one to eight. The answer is three. Three. A nightmare catnap. You get to go next. All right. Come on, nightmare catnap. You. Oh. Bro! Interference! Interference, bro! Bro, you cannot continue to be a sore loser. Wait, hey, where do you think you're going? It's not your turn. It's not your turn yet, bro. Bro, you are a sore loser. Now I gotta respawn you two. All right, I respawned Hallucination Huggy Wuggy and a Nightmare Catnap. Nightmare Catnap, what did I tell you? You cannot continue to sabotage the other contestants, all right? I will not allow that. But anyways, Nightmare Catnap, it is your turn, so I hope you enjoy getting thrown off a building. All right, here we go, Nightmare Catnap. Here we go, buddy. You got this. I believe in you. Oh, there he goes. There goes Nightmare Catnap. He's going. Meow. Oh, look at him go. He's falling so majestic. Look at him go. Oh, Nightmare Catnap. No. Oh, no. Okay, I got to get to the portal. I got to go through. I got to go through. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nightmare Catnap. Nightmare Catnap. No. Nightmare Catnap. Oh, he survived! He fully survived. What the heck, bro? He went for the tail strategy, and his tail didn't even take any damage whatsoever, bro. Nightmare Catnap, good job! So far, these characters are doing so much better on this building than I thought they would. Okay, fantastic job, Nightmare Catnap. You would now get to go and enjoy yourself at the nice, lovely hotel. So, Nightmare Catnap, bro, you have been doing a great job. Oh, oh no, Nightmare Catnap, no! Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Nightmare Catnap is okay probably uh anyways let's go ahead and decide the next character hey siri pick a number between one to six the answer is five five one two three four five dog day your time is up all right dog day listen dog day listen bro you fully survived the first building but then you got clapped on the second building so what the heck is going to happen on the third building i feel like the third building something in between is going to happen he's probably just going to lose a limb yeah he's probably going to lose one of his arms that's what i bet all right dog day you got it buddy go fetch go fetch dog day there he goes there goes dog day oh he's going down he is going down okay i need to go down too where is he where is he dog day what oh no dog day he landed on this building dog day no he's gone again dog day got clapped again i didn't even get to see it bro it's probably better that i didn't get to see it bro i was like where'd he go bro he fell on that building right there and he died oh poor dog day 
<laughs> no, Dog Day. Okay, well, Dog Day, yeah, he's definitely not winning this competition. Dog Day had a fantastic start, and then ever since the second building, bro, he's just been throwing away his victories. All right, there is five main characters left. All right. Hey, Siri, pick a number between one to five. That would be two. Two catnap. All right. Ca oh, uh oh, uh oh. He got a boo boo. All right, catnap. Now that I fixed your foot, it is time for you to get thrown off a building. I'm sorry, catnap. I'm sorry, but Siri said you gotta go. So you gotta go, Mr. Catnap. All right, but listen, Nightmare Catnap was able to fully survive this building, so you should be able to as well. Okay, I just went inside his head. All right, anyways, catnap, you ready to go? All right, here we go. Catnap, you got this, buddy. There he goes. There he goes. Goodbye catnap oh look at him go look at him go you can see him going he's going he's going all right where is he there he is there he is there he is come on catnap come on buddy come on oh no not the leg no did you not learn anything bro he broke his legs again bro you gotta stop doing the knee strat oh my gosh that's the second time he's done it and it hasn't worked both times catnap what were you thinking <gasps> meowch meowch yeah i'm sure you would be in a lot of pain oh my gosh bro this guy really wants to become the new dog dad he just broke his legs again. He did the exact same thing as on the second building. Catnap, what are you doing, man? All uh, right, anyways, Catnap, you get to go inside of the nice hotel and relax since you were able to survive the building. Uh, catnap, Catnap, go on inside, buddy. Inside, inside, buddy. Inside, come on, come on, Catnap, cat, Catnap, where'd you go? Oh, okay, uh, he's okay, he's okay, guys. He's just going in through a different exit. I mean, through a different entrance. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to one of these final characters. Now, there are four characters that remain. Okay, hey, Siri, Pick a number between one to four. That would be two. Two. Hallucination Huggy Wuggy it is. All right, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy. Don't worry. Nightmare Catnap is out of the way so he can no longer harm you. So Hallucination Huggy Wuggy, it is your turn to get thrown off a built. Ain't no way you just broke your foot. All right, Hallucination Huggy Wuggy, it's time to go. Come on, listen, the regular Huggy Wuggy was able to fall from a great height in the original Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, so you should be able to as well. And besides, you're, ha you're ha a hallucination. You're not even real. You got this, buddy. You got this. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. There he goes. Zoom. Oh, and here he comes. Here he comes. No, 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 not on your elbow. Why did you land on your elbow? What were you thinking, bro? Of course it's going to break. It broke clean off his elbow is gone oh no hallucination huggy wuggy he's hiding his face he's embarrassed he's like oh that was so stupid of me to do oh hallucination huggy wuggy bro he did not do that good all right come on buddy come on you get to go inside the fancy hotel go on buddy go go on halluc ha hallucination hug I guess he just wanted to become one with nature. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll go with that. All right, so Hallucination Huggy Wuggy, he did survive the fall, but uh, his elbow did not. All right, we got three characters left. We have a Boxy Boo, we have Miss Delight, and why are you, what is wrong with you? Why are you trying to fly, bro? Oh my gosh, I guess we're getting into the atmosphere. The gravity is getting all weird up here. All right, so we got three characters left, Boxy Boo, Miss Delight, and Poppy. All right, you know what? Uh, Yeah, Siri, you get to decide again hey siri pick a number between one to three the answer is one one boxy boo it's time for you to go all right boxy boo again just do your same strat do the knee strategy all right that worked for you it didn't work for uh didn't work for catnap but it does work for you all right boxy boo and listen if you get into a pickle just remember you have springs so use them if you need to bounce bounce all right that can help break your fall all right there you go boxy boo be free be a free boxy boo look at him go oh that's so majestic boxy boo there he goes he has fallen okay go go into the portal let me in where is he where is he where is he boxy boo boxy boo oh no no he went for the butt strategy no his springs are broken he broke both of his legs boxy boo no oh poor boxy boo i feel so bad for him all right boxy boo all right you get to go into the hotel as well there you go all right well um hey at least uh at least you're you have a box for a base so uh now you're just gonna be a box that sits in the corner there you go see good as new see as long as you stay like that nobody will know that your legs are gone except for me and also all the people watching the
this video. Okay, sweet. All right, so now there are two characters left out of the main cast. We have Miss Delight and Poppy. You know what? We are going to go ahead and throw Poppy off next. All right, Poppy. Hopefully, you don't get splattered against the pavement, but you never know what's going to happen. All right, there goes Poppy. There she goes. You can see her going. Oh, she's going down fast. I'm not even going to have enough time to portal. No, Poppy. I'm not going to have enough time to get down there, Poppy. Poppy. Poppy, please. Please let me get down there in time. No. Oh, that did not look good. She went down so fast. I didn't have enough time to hop into the portal. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yep. She's dead. She's dead. She become Poppy Jaw yet again. She's just a jaw. Yo, she just has an arm and a leg again with her jaw. What is up with that? Why does she keep landing like that? Well, Poppy is, um, is no more. Poppy, Poppy playtime is no more. Yeah, she ain't smelling like poppies now. Um, all right, so all that's left is Miss Delight. And Miss Delight, I just gotta say that this will be a delightful experience for me and not for you. You are going to feel a bunch of pain, but hey, you know what? You probably deserve it. You are very creepy. So anyways, Miss Delight, any last words? Nope. Okay. Bye-bye, Miss Delight. Bye-bye. All right, there goes Miss Delight. Let's see. Let's see what Miss Delight's going through. All right, there she goes. There she goes. Look at her go. She's falling so majestic. There she goes. Miss Delight is no more. All right, here she comes. Here she comes. Here comes Miss Delight. And oh, wait, no, no. No, no, she's alive. She only lost her arm. How are you surviving these? She only lost her arms and that is it for the main cast of characters. But before we do get the final results on who actually is the strongest, we have the smiling critters to throw off once more. So we're going to throw them all off at the same time again. All right. I have set up the smiling critters right above the street at the same height at the building. So which smiling critter will survive and how many injuries are there going to be probably way too many to count all right all eight of the smiling critters are lined up and they are ready to go also for this one we got some cameras set up so that way we can get all of the best views so anyways it is time to drop the smiling critters but before i do drop the smiling critters i want to get to the bottom so that way i can see them all land at the bottom so um i guess i'll see you smiling critters at the bare at the very bottom yippee uh-oh. Uh-oh, Raggy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Raggy. Uh-oh, Raggy. Uh-oh. I'm a bush. All right. It's time to drop the smiling critters in three, two, one. May the best smiling critter win. All right. There they go. The smiling critters are off. Look at them go. All of them going down. Oh, look at them all go. All right. They're all doing their own strategies. It looks like all of them are trying to go head down first. I have no idea how well that's going to work out for them. Oh, look at them all go. Look at them all go. Okay. They're here. They're here. They're here. The smiling crow. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait. Crafty Corn fully survives. Picky Piggy fully survives. Hoppy Hopscotch. Oh, lost, lost her arms. Hoppy Hopscotch is disqualified. Dog Day fully survives. Kicking Chicken fully. Why is everyone fully surviving this? What? Cat Catnap fully survives. Bobby Bear Hug fully survives. And Bubba Bubba Fint fully survives. What? That was so anticlimactic. The only person who got injured was Hoppy Hopscotch. Hoppy, build, Mr. Building, what did, what did Hoppy Hopscotch do to you? Um, I think we're gonna need a round two. That was pretty anti-climatic it might have been the slow-mo mod it might have just slowed down everything all right the smiling critters will be dropped in three two one may the best smiling critter win all right there they go there they go all the smiling critters they're all going down all of them are going down oh here they go here they go what huh what what do you mean what do you they all survived they all survived what Bro, why do they... Huh? Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know what this this hurts my brain. I, I, did I did I miss something in physics class or something? I mean, I guess I I probably should have paid attention in school, but I, I don't understand. If somebody can explain this to me, please. I don't understand. How do these smiling critters fully survive the height of this building, but they can't survive being dropped like a few feet? Like if I pick up kicking chicken, throw them up in the air, and drop them back down. Wait, come on, come on, do it again. Come on, come on. See, then he breaks his arm. 
He breaks his arm. But if they get dropped all the way up there, they just they just don't break any. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're not going to count the third round of the Smiling Critters for the final results. And speaking of the final results, let's actually move on to the final results and let's see who is the strongest character from Poppy Playtime. All right, guys, the results are in. So first up for the Smiling Critters, we have a tie. We have a Picky Piggy and Dog Day. So these two Smiling Critters were the only smiling critters who were able to get one point so congratulations to these smiling critters if you are going to throw a smiling critter off of a building pick one of these two that will be your best option but anyways for the main characters of poppy playtime chapter three the results are in so for all the characters who were able to get at least one point are dog day boxy boo hallucination huggy wuggy and miss delight so these four characters were able to get at least one point in today's video so good job to these guys right here you guys did fantastic but did not do good enough for first place so we do have a winner so the winner of throne poppy playtime off a of building part two is the one the only catnap Mio, i win i win let's go that's been nightmareified. Yay! Wait, wait, what? Yep, that's right, guys. Nightmare Catnap is the winner of getting thrown off a building. Yay! Let's go! I win, I win. Everybody else lose. Let's go, let's go. I am the winner. What? What? No! You're telling me I didn't win for once? Oh, man. I thought it was always rigged for me to win. Oh, Yay! Let's go! Let's go! So, out of all these characters, if one character were to get thrown off a building, the one that is most likely to survive is Nightmare Catnap. So, Nightmare Catnap is stronger than regular Catnap. Oh, come on! That doesn't prove that he's better than me! He just survived a fall! That doesn't prove anything! Uh, it does prove that he can actually survive a greater fall than you. Well, I mean, yeah, but that doesn't mean he's better than me well he is better than you be quiet but that's gonna be it for today's poppy playtime video so make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys do want me to make more poppy playtime videos and i hope you guys did enjoy so i will see you guys in my next video i won i won and you lose you lose you are a loser meow shut your goofy goober up oh yay i win